Hello and welcome to my final project for ICT 200. During this pandemic, this final project is going to be a little bit different. So today I'm going to be analyzing a couple of infographics and test how effective they are and what could be done differently to make them better. I will also show you at the end of this video my own infographic that I've created based on the two original infographics and making those changes to make them better and using the information that they provided. So I will be using sources given to me throughout class to help analyze the infographics and create strong definitions and examples to pull from. To introduce my own sources, I will be using Clean Up Your Mess, a guide to visual design for everyone to help show if it is easy to understand and the information has low to minimal effort by the reader. And then I'll be using data visualization for human perception to analyze the visual choices of the infographics and compare the content. The other sources that I'll be using are creative approaches to problem solving to define creative thinking as creativity is a natural present in everyone, healthy, enjoyable, important, and complex, but understandable. And lastly, I'll be using the source, our conception of critical thinking to define critical thinking as a self-guided, self-disciplined thinking, which attempts to reason at the highest level of quality in a fair-minded way. And these sources will serve as my backbone to effectively convey my thought out purpose of analysis regarding these infographics and the pandemic of COVID-19 and how to stay safe. Thank you. So the first infographic that I have here is from Francine Health Organization. And it's kind of along the lines of a PSA and it is titled Coronavirus, What We Know. It is formatted to be read in sections long ways, covering the four different topics, if you will, of about the virus, symptoms, prevention, and who is at risk. I think that the overall design is clean and the information given is laid out in a way which really allows the reader to find the information that they're looking for. According to my first source, Clean Up Your Mess, A Guide to Visual Design, it passes the test by having a clean design with easily accessible information. It's not too hard for the reader to find the important information. I think that the order of the topics is pretty logical. The first topic is about the virus, then the symptoms, followed by prevention, and lastly, who is at risk. Using my critical thinking, I believe that this is a great way to organize the information because it first tells you how you can get it, the incubation period and symptoms, how to prevent from getting it, and people who are at risk. I would maybe switch prevention information section with the symptoms information section, just because I feel as though prevention information should come before the information of getting it. And touching on my creative thing, and using the second source for analysis, I don't really think that the color scheme associated with the infographic is fitting. Blue is a calm and cool color and should not be associated with this pandemic, because there's nothing cool or calm about COVID-19 thus far. I would change the blue to maybe red because the aesthetic is more appropriate for the message. According to data visualization for human perception, the images are all cohesive, giving a more polished and professional visualization. They are explanatory and tell the reader exactly what is going on and are very good rep visual representations for this PSA slash infographic. The reader really can get an understanding of what the message is and my overall opinion is that this is a good quality infographic that conveys information to the audience very well which the target audience of this infographic is the whole world because everyone is suffering from this pandemic. My second infographic is cited from Pharma or the Pharmaceutical Research and Manufacturers of America. They posted an infographic that was less of a PSA compared to the first one and more of a medical slash pharmaceutical related. It is titled Working Together to Fight COVID-19. At first glance, there's a lot of information that surrounds the graphic of five circular pictures, which accompanies the titles of each worded section. Once again, the infographic is organized into topics, kind of, but they're stemming from the center image rather than being organized by rows. Starting with source one again, clean up your mess, a guide to visual design for everyone. The information is clear and coherent for the most part. The titles help organize the information and the bold titles really helps the eye at glance find the information the reader is looking for. I think that it is a little bit wordy and requires the reader to have an extra effort to get information out of this infographic. It is not step-by-step -step information and it lacks organization. It is hard for the eye to follow since it is not in rows or column. And based on the second source, data visualization for human perception, the images are a great visual representation of the associated topics. The color schemes and templates are used effectively to identify important information and encourage the reader to continue. The graphics are cartoonish, which takes the edge off of the seriousness of this pandemic and makes it a little bit more pal palatable for the audience, which again is the entire world. 
I think that the order of this information provided is perfect and I would not change it. The order of diagnostics, existing medicines, new treatments, vaccines, and then manufacturing is logical and flows smoothly. Pharma's use of order makes logical sense. Back to critical thinking. And then something that both of them are lacking, which I did notice based in data visualization for human perception, is that they lack a visual representation of data, which I added into mine, which I will now show you. I created this infographic using Adobe Spark, merging the two infographics mentioned before, and using improvements which led to a better final product. I took the things that I would change under the guidelines of the two sources and created a better balance between the two. In previous activities, I considered myself a critical thinker along the definition, a self-guided, self-disciplined thinking, which attempts to reason with the highest level of quality in a fair-minded way. But according to our conception of critical thinking, however, I think that I would consider myself a creative thinker as a natural present in everyone, healthy, enjoyable, important, and complex, but understandable. From creative approaches to problem solving. And I feel like this project really allowed me to utilize my creative side and generate an infographic using technology that I wouldn't have been able to use before. Using Adobe Spark, I created a layout that incorporated the actual COVID-19 spore as the background, which I think really helps project that extra creative touch and tell the readers what's going on without even reading a thing. I started out by choosing my color scheme around the spore, red and white. I organized the infographic into topic sections that include what we know, your risk of infection, medicines and vaccines, infected, and finally takeaways. I believe it's organized better than the original two infographics because it displays the sections in a way that encourages readers to read more and understand. Everyone is facing this pandemic and everyone wants to know as much as they can in order to stay safe and limit their exposure. So the design I chose is very informative. I also included everyday pictures to help the readers comprehend the accompanying text. The design is easy to follow with the eye and the reader uses minimal effort to extract information. The visual design is very good, incorporating a graphic and information from the CDC. So thank you for listening. And in closing, I think that a good infographic should have information that is easy to read, clearly and easily understood by the reader and target audience with minimal to low effort. And there should be an effective level of visual representation of the data in order to get their point across. And I think I really achieved that with my personal infographic, adding that. And so I just want to say thank you for watching. And please stay safe during this pandemic. Wash your hands. And actually look at those infographics because they have great information in them. Thank you.